make running fun. It just might work. <laughs> you want to show me something, George? Uh-huh. Okay, let's go. <sighs> Is this a Ferris wheel? <laughs> okay. I've never been on one of these before. <laughs> what an amazing view. Hey, look, there's the museum. Ooh. I can see my window. It looks so small from here. <laughs> The professor had so much fun on the Ferris wheel that George took her to all his favorite places. the professor outran him, George knew she was ready for the race. Oh, I never knew running would make me feel this good. I have so much energy now. Thank you, George. For the Ferris wheel, for the balloons, for teaching me that running is fun. <laughs> good evening, professor. Oh, hi, everyone. I'm running in that race tomorrow. Will you be there? <laughs> we wouldn't miss it for the world. <laughs> On race day, George couldn't believe how many people showed up. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, no! I forgot my water. <laughs> oh, thanks. So, you really think I can do this? Uh-huh. Go, Professor Wiseman! Go, Professor Wiseman! Sis boom ba! Sis boom ba! Runners, take your marks! The race was on. The professor seemed to be doing everything right. She ran at a steady pace. she was drinking water. So far, so good. George wanted to see the professor cross the finish line, so he made sure to get a good spot. Do you see her? I don't see her. <laughs> she looks tired. <laughs> oh no, something's wrong. Maybe she got a Charlie horse. Huh? That's a cramp in your leg, George, and they can be very painful. Ooh. Ooh. Hi there. Ah! I thought it'd be fun if my personal trainer finished the race with me. for finishing, and the race was a huge success. We raised enough money for our trip to Omam. Oh, that's terrific. And I found out who those anonymous donors were. Apparently, they thought I needed to work a little less and have fun a little more. That's right, because all work and no play is a crummy way to spend your day. <laughs> <laughs> to thank you for helping me learn that lesson, I want you to have my medal. Oh. <laughs> May as well not let them go to waste. 
If Gnocchi's eating cat food, she's not sick. What could it be? <coughs> what will we do without ravioli? <coughs> 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 Uh-oh. I think I'm allergic to something in here. Huh. Yeah, I, I have an allergy. It's when your body overreacts to something like food or a, a, a plant or flowers. Some types of flowers can make some people sneeze and cough. <laughs> well, not you. Some people don't have any allergies and some have a lot. Huh? I have to move these away from me, or I won't be able to breathe at all. That seemed familiar, but George couldn't remember why. Some nice tangy antipasto for you. Hmm, mm. kind of bland. George knew the tangy eggplant wasn't bland. <laughs> oh, it's the stuffed up nose. Without a good sense of smell, everything tastes boring. Here's a your dinner. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But for the past few days, she likes nothing. No, no, no. No chewing under the flowers today. <laughs> George? George had the answer. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you can take the flowers home if you like them. <laughs> well, that didn't work. George, what are you doing in here? What are you... George, I think he's allergic. You shouldn't... <gasps> Your cat is allergic to certain flowers. Here is a list. Oh. Really? But she tries to eat them. Don't let her. Here's my bill. So, George's theory was right. And a lot cheaper. For an important call. Calling George. Calling George. <laughs> I have the most amazing, exciting thing to tell you. Can you come over? Uh. Oh, right, we're in bed. Okay then, meet me at the clubhouse tomorrow, right away, and don't forget. Bye! <laughs> the next morning, George raced to the clubhouse. So can you come? Can you come? It was a good thing George went shopping with Allie because she needed a monkey's eye. Okay, which backpack? The lion, the witch, or the warthog? Hmm. Yeah, that's the one I wanted too. Because
because it holds the most stuff. See, in kindergarten, you need exactly three rulers and a cowboy belt and binoculars and pipe cleaners. Wow, kindergarten sure sounded like fun. Where else would you need three rulers and a cowboy belt? Guess what? These are two for one. Ooh. Would you like a backpack, George? <laughs> the next day, George wondered how Allie was doing at kindergarten. Great, and guess what? I told my teacher I was best friends with a monkey, and she said you could come to school with me tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, you'll be our official guest monkey. Here's your lunch, huh? your snack, <laughs> and just for luck, a brand new yellow pencil. Wow, a school tool. <laughs> Have fun. Be a good little guest monkey. <laughs> George discovered that just going to school was exciting. First, there was waiting for the bus. <laughs> then there was being on the bus. <laughs> Then, there was getting off the bus. This is it, George. Kindergarten. Ooh! <laughs> Hi, Allie. And you must be George. <laughs> All right, class. Time to take your seats. Oh. George decided to experiment with different amounts of each ingredient. He used a big piece of paper to keep track. George added strawberries. <coughs> Too sweet. George added more peppers. <coughs> it still wasn't right. And it certainly didn't pass the Hundley test. <coughs> Maybe George needed more of these things. Close, but George thought more apples might help. George's juice was perfect. Well, almost. It still needed a special secret ingredient. Where could he find one of those? Dear, dear. See, can I interest you in today's special? Special? That's exactly what he was looking for. It's eggplant piccata. With extra amounts of piccata. Mm. Oh, those are radishes. Try one, try one. <laughs> oh, oh, but careful. Radishes are a little eh, speziato. That means spicy. Radishes were spicy, but spicy might be good in a drink. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I know. Help yourself, Georgie. <laughs> Just the radishes? Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> George hoped that one radish would do the trick. Ah! 
George had done it. His juice was just as good as Juicy J's. Better even. George! Oh, no. <coughs> oh, have you been making juice? <laughs> mm. Oh, oh my goodness, this juice is amazing! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! George thought his juice was so delicious, he decided to give it away at the next farmer's market. Get your George juice. It's made with apples for strong bones, cabbage for vitamin C, and a bunch of other healthy stuff. Oh, thanks! Oh, this is fantastic! Can I get the recipe? Sure. George started with your juice, but added a few new ingredients. <laughs> a radish? Oh, that is brilliant! A revolution in juice making! To George and his delicious George juice! <laughs> George explained that he was the owner of this body, and Toots and the Germets would have to go. Go? Why should we go? We like it here. <laughs> I'm making you feel sick? Oh, well, in that case, I'll be on my way. I'll just uh, get my stuff. Ha <laughs> <laughs> fool you! I'm never leaving! <laughs> but you are. George knew he wouldn't feel better until he got rid of Toots. <laughs> but where did he go? <laughs> the lungs? George and Yoki agreed to try his lungs first. It looked kind of wet. Was this the lungs or was it the stomach? Maybe they made a wrong turn somewhere. So don't eat a thing that's my suggestion, because I'll be giving. <gasps> <laughs> now this looked more like a lung. When the walls moved out, air came in. When the walls moved in, air rushed out. George was watching himself breathe. This was George's chance. So where should we go next? Uh, the throat? Hey, maybe the ears. George couldn't believe how hard it was to get rid of one measly germ. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Let me go! George didn't have a feather, but he did have 20 fingers. No! <laughs> George and Yoki had done it. Toots was gone. <laughs> oh, 
You're awake. How do you feel? George felt great. He could even smell again. 